it's getting towards the end. I think I should be able to just kick open some of these holes here. I tell you what, for those of you that follow us on Facebook and Instagram, we appreciate you. And, and every once in a while, you know, we'll post a question on there. You know, where would you like to see us film? What would you like to see us uh, film for? And love all the answers. But one one question we get all the time is Devil's Lake crappies. You know, where and how to catch Devil's Lake crappies. Now, there's not a lot of crappies in the system, but there's probably a lot more than what a lot of anglers would ever think. And there's definitely certain times to target them, and late ice is one of those times. So we're going to kick open some old holes here, see if we can find some. We've been catching a few crappies this winter. And again, at times you don't catch many, but when you catch them, they are nice. Oh, there he is. That is a crappie. Oh! <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's a nice crappie. Nice crappie. Look at this. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish. Oh, come here. Get my thumb in a rip. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is a beautiful Devil's Lake crappie right there. Just look at the girth. That is a beautiful fish. I'm going to let her go. There she goes. I tell you what, people ask all the time about crappies in Devil's Lake. Now, are there a lot of crappies in Devil's Lake? I wouldn't say there's a lot, but there's a time when you can target these fish on purpose. And a lot of times when you find them, they're big. You know, what's interesting about Devil's Lake crappies, and obviously I still have a lot to learn. I mean, there's you know, with fishing, you never say always and you never say never, but here's what I've seen. A lot of times these fish are relating to brush that's flooded, that's relating to, you know, some type of a contour. And a lot of times it's adjacent to shallow areas where there's pencil reeds or cattails, you know, just as shallow, marshy, protected bays and the proximity to that. And a lot of times these fish are coming off the bottom or they might be anywhere from say one feet to five feet off the bottom. These fish roll through and What's interesting is that, you know, when they when you mark a crappie, it's just a big mark. I mean, when you mark a 16-inch crappie, it's a, you know, when you're using a Vexlar, it's a big mark. And a lot of times these f fish do require a little bit of finesse. I mean, you can catch them fishing aggressively, but it seems like a lot of times, you know, you're just working them up and just holding it, and then they just barely come in and just suck it in. And, you know, so when you're in this shallow water, you know, a lot of the tactics that you use for walleyes, you know, what I find is it doesn't work so well on crappies as far as just the the aggressive jig stroke that works so well to catch walleyes on Devil's Lake it is a little bit more of a finesse bite where a lot of times you're just almost dead sticking it and just letting those fish slowly come up and, and hit it. If you can get in tune to that and you know recognize what you're seeing on your electronics you know I think there's probably more opportunities to catch these crappies than what a lot of anglers would ever imagine. There he is. Got him. That is a great crappie. Look at that. Wow. Look at the mouth. And it just. These fish are beautiful. Special, special, special resource. All right, I'll let her go here. There. You know, in my mind, there's two different times of the year where you can really target these fish on purpose late ice and then early in the spring you know it isn't always a numbers deal although i think there's probably more fish in here more crappies in here than what a lot of people would realize but there's times where you can target these fish and quite honestly I've caught some of the biggest crappies i've ever seen in my life out of devil's lake
So far these fish have been just fussy. They're coming in foot to three feet off the bottom. It seems like when they come in, you just need to hold it almost still. For them to eat it. You know, I was just kind of bouncing around, maybe fishing 10 holes or so in a grid through here and just flipped over the fish house here, just kind of settled in here. Now we've kind of narrowed it down where it seems like if we just sit here, the fish come underneath. You know, so basically what we're fishing is just kind of a trough or a slot where there's just eight, nine feet of water, just a bowl that's just surrounded by shallower water. And you know, I think what happens is these fish ultimately come back in these areas, especially where these where the areas where it's kind of marshy where there's pencil reeds and then they'll eventually spawn. You know, so you take the middle of the summer, the middle of the winter, you know, these fish can be in a lot of different places, but you know, you take late ice, and then you take spring, you know, during that spawning period, and these fish will just get concentrated back up in some of these bays. And so that just makes them more accessible, just easier to find. And so, tell you what, there definitely seems like there's getting to be more crappies in Devil's Lake, but if there's two particular areas or parts of the lake where I've seen the most crappies, you know, over the years, it'd definitely be north end of Six Mile Bay, and then that Pelican Lake area. You know, I've caught them in East Devil's Lake, I've caught them in Black Tiger Bay, you know, I've caught them in Creel Bay, the main bay over the years, but uh, I would say 95% of the crappies that I've seen on Devil's Lake have been in Six Mile and then Pelican Lake or that north end of that Mave Cooley system. Definitely a neat opportunity that I think a lot of ice anglers don't even realize is here. Transducer, oh come on up here. Oh come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh come here, come here, come here. That is a crappie. Oh look at that. See what that there is about as big a crappie you're gonna find anywhere. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's well over 15 inches. That's special. You know, and again, are there, are there lots of crappies in Devil's Lake? No, but there are certain times of year where these fish get concentrated, where you can target them on purpose and catch them. And these are some of the nicest crappies that you're ever gonna see. That just fills up an eight inch hole. There she goes. Boy, she took off hard too. I tell you what, when I'm specifically targeting big crappies, don't hesitate to use a big hole. I mean, I'm using a six inch auger so much anymore just because it's fast, especially for panfish. But if I know that there's 14 inch crappies or bigger in the vicinity, I'll use that eight, even a 10 inch hole just to get them turned around. But it's really a finesse bite. I mean, I've tried plastics, I've tried spoons, I've tried a few different things. I'm just kind of settling to just this drop kick jig with just a minnow head. I'm not even, I can't even catch them on a full minnow. And I'm just quivering it. And when these fish come in, I'm just holding it still more or less, just dead sticking it. And that rod tip just barely moves. And when you set into them, then you know, <laughs> they fight, they fight hard. Fun fishing. Oh yes. Oh, the fish is fighting hard. That's a good one. Let's hope it's a crappie. Let's hope it's a crappie. Oh yeah, nice crappie. Oh, come here. Oh. <laughs> Six feet of water, seven feet of water, and they just come in and crush it. And they're, you know, basically right off the bottom. One, two feet, maybe three feet off the bottom at the most, but pretty much hugging the bottom. They're mixed in here with walleyes, there's perch, there's pike. You never know what you're gonna catch, even white bass, but what a cool, cool opportunity. Get that fish in the water. Oh, there she goes. They go down just as mad as they come up. <laughs> oh, there he is. 